In this video, we're going to talk about points, lines, and planes, as well as collinear points and coplanar points. So a point is just a point in space. It's basically a dot. A segment connects two points. So let's call this point A and point B. So this is a segment. A segment has a beginning and it has an end. So you can write this as segment AB. Now a ray, on the other hand, has a beginning but has no end. So a ray has one arrow. So you can write this as ray AB. A line has no beginning and no end. So you can write this as line AB with two arrows. Now, segments, rays, and lines, they're one-dimensional. A horizontal line, you can travel to the right or to the left. So you can only travel in the x direction for a horizontal line. Now, a plane is two-dimensional. You could travel in the x direction, or you could travel in the y direction. So a plane is flat as a pancake. And like a line, it extends infinitely into the x and y directions. Now, what is the difference between collinear points and non-collinear points? So let's call this point A, B, and C. Three points are collinear if they lie on the same line. So these are known as collinear points. Now, the other three, these points are non-collinear because we cannot draw one line that connects all of them. We can draw a line between two points, so we can say AB is collinear, but A, B, and C are not collinear because we can't put those three points in a single line. So these are known as non-collinear points. Now, let's say if we have four points that lie on the same plane. Let's call this point A, B, C, and D. These four points are known as coplanar points because they share the same plane. And let's call this plane X. Let's say this is A, B, C, D. So these four points are known as non-coplanar points because they do not lie on the same plane. A, B, and C lie on the plane, but D is outside of the plane. So if we call this plane M, we could say A, B, and C are located on plane M, but D is not on plane M. So those are non-coplanar points. Now there's four ways to determine the existence of a plane. The first method is three non-collinear points. There's always exactly one plane that can pass through three non-collinear points. So that's the first method. The second method is a line and a point. Only one plane can pass through a line and a point. So let's call this line M and point A. The third method is two parallel lines. Let's call this line L and line K. Only one plane can pass through two parallel lines. And so these two lines are known as coplanar lines because they lie on the same plane. Now, two lines that intersect also lie on one plane. So let's call this line R and line S. They intersect at this point, and so these two are coplanar lines. They share the same plane. Now you can also have non-coplanar lines. For example, let's say this is line L. And let's say if we have a line perpendicular to it, let's call this line K. So line L lies on plane M, 
but line K does not. So these are known as non-coplanar lines. Now let's say if we have plane Y. And then we have these points. Let's call it points A. Actually, I want to make this A, B, C, D. Let's say this is E, F, and G. So which of these points are coplanar points? The coplanar points are the points lying on plane Y. So A, B, C, D, and G are coplanar points, these five. The non-coplanar points would be these five along with E or along with F. So combined, these seven are non-coplanar points. These five are coplanar, but once you add E to the mix or F to the mix, then they're considered non-coplanar points because these points are not all on the same plane. So make sure you understand that. So these five are coplanar points. These six are not coplanar points because E is not on plane Y. And these seven points are also non-coplanar points. Now, identify the coplanar lines in this example. So we could say that line CD and line AB are coplanar lines because they exist on the same plane. Now, if we add, let me draw that better. Let's say line EF to the mix. Then these three are non-coplanar lines. AB and DC are coplanar lines. They exist on plane Y, but all three of these, once you add EF to the mix, then it's considered to be non-coplanar lines. They don't share the same plane. Now what about coplanar segments? Well, the answer will be the same as coplanar lines. So segment AB, which starts here and ends here, is coplanar with segment DC. However, segment EF is non-coplanar with AB and DC. So you can have coplanar segments and non-coplanar segments. So I'm going to give you some verbal questions regarding these two planes. So I'm going to give you three points. Points E, D, and C determine which of the two planes, plane X or plane Y. Now notice that point D, E, and C, they're all located within plane X. So these three points determine plane X. Now what about, let's say, points F, D, and R? These three non-collinear points determine which plane? So F is on plane Y, not X. D is on plane X and Y. And R is on Y, but not X. So these three points determine plane Y. So as we could see, it takes at least three non-collinear points to determine a plane. Now we can also determine a plane using two lines. So line ED and line AC determine which plane. So ED is, it's in both planes, X and Y. But AC is in plane X and not plane Y. So these two lines are found in plane X. So X is the answer for this example. Now, what about line ED 
and line FG. These two lines determine which plane. So as we said before, ED is found in both planes, but FG is found in plane Y and not X. So these two lines determine plane Y. Now here's a question for you. Point A lies on which plane? Determine the planes that each of these points lie on. A, D, M, F, and so forth, and R. So R is found in plane Y. F is also in plane Y. M is found in plane X. A is in X. And D is at the intersection of X and Y. So we can write X and Y for D. Now, what is the intersection of X and Y? So the intersection between plane X and plane Y is a line. And notice that line ED is found at the intersection of these two planes. So the answer for this is line ED. Now, line ED and point A determine what plane? So ED and point A, they're both found in plane X. So it determines plane X. Remember, if you have a line and a point, they determine only one plane. Now what about line ED and let's say point F? F and ED are found in plane Y. So this line and that point determines plane Y. Now which points are coplanar with A, B, C, and D? So A, B, C, and D are found in plane X. So the other points that are coplanar with these four points are the other points that are found in plane X. So E is in plane X. G is not. M and N are in plane X. G is actually in plane Y. It's going down. So let me just mark this off. So the answer would be E, M, and N. They're coplanar to plane X. Now, which points, oh, by the way, the other points are non coplanar to it. So, like F, G, R, and S are non coplanar to A, B, C, and D. Now, which points are coplanar to F, B, and G? So F, B, and G, they determine plane Y. So the points that are called planar to these three points are the other points found in plane Y. So E, D, R, and S are found in plane Y. So now which points are non coplanar to F, B, and G? So which points are found in plane X but not in plane Y? So A, C, M, and N are non coplanar to F, B, and G. These three points, they identify plane Y. And A, C, M, and N are not in plane Y. So therefore, these points are non coplanar to F, B, and G.